Hey guys and welcome to another review with Stephen and today I'll be looking at Paco Rabanne's Excess which is a fragrance that was re released in 1994 so via code we have a aromatic spicy woody citrus and balsamic this to me is quite a good fragrance I was, look I was looking online I can't actually find any reviews on YouTube for it I believe there was one that previously and it was of course put up by Lex Ellis who has now kind of deleted his content unfortunately and I remember him quite enjoying this you know it's considered perhaps a 90s powerhouse considering it came out in the mid 90s it is quite strong to my nose and he described it as a quite masculine you know it's very woody as well to my cup to my nose it's far woodier than citrusy and you know I can't hear I can't see too much talk and love given to the to this fragrance. So the bottle design here is very basic. Well, not very basic. It's quite cool actually. It's in like in a Zippo lighter, similar to Black XS. Of note, there's many reviews of Black Black XS online, but none of this. And it's got a very good atomizer. Like it's put a lot and it makes quite a loud psh sound. So yeah, it's great. Uh, for the notes at the top, we have rosemary, mandarin, orange, tarragon. Can't believe that. Um, mint, bergamot, and lemon. In the middle is coriander, juniper, uh, sage, bourbon, geranium, and Brazilian rosewood. And at the base is amber, patchouli, sandalwood, musk, oak moss, cedar, and vanilla. So given the notes, we can see it's quite a um, 80s or 90s sounding fragrance, you know, with oak moss, oak moss, patchouli, maybe some musk as well, some flowery notes. It's got like um, good composition all around. It starts off very strongly at the top, um, very citrusy, I find, you know, it is very loud. I mean, the name is called Excess, which I think is a bit misleading, but I'll come on to that in a bit. And so it starts off very loudly, it's quite minty, it's got a very like, um, similar to 212 VIP where there's a kind of minty freshness to it, you know, kind of, kind of icy, it gives me a bit of a frozen feeling at, at times, and I've worn this a, a few times now, and I do get different kind of feels each time I wear it, so for example, a few more times I've felt the woods come through a lot more, like I wore it yesterday when I was doing some garden work outside, and it was projecting very well in the heat and I found that the oak moss was the predominant note to my nose well the oak moss and patchouli like it kind of reminded me of those kind of that's those patchouli bowls that you get to kind of freshen up a room and the oak moss was there as well which I kind of noticed coming through in many fragrances now I've been kind of wearing Kuros a lot lately I don't actually own it but whenever I go to my local Boots drugstore I kind of throw Kuros on because I'm really falling in love with that and you get the strong oak moss feeling there there's a few like older older 80s fragrances that I own like kind of Ralph Lauren Polo clones also Aventus has an oak moss note which I find quite prominent and this does as well and it comes out but not on every single wearing like sometimes it's there but not always So yeah, the top is very fresh, you know, it's an extremely, not aquatic, but just very citrusy. And then soon afterwards, that kind of citrus accord goes away and it doesn't come back to my nose. And the fragrance develops into a very wooden, yeah, spicy, you know, it does list, it is a little spicy. It's got a few, um, few herbal, herbal notes in here. And yeah, they are good. I sprayed this on maybe 20, 30 minutes ago, and it's a very masculine scent. The woods come out a lot, and it just leaves very kind of, um, like, a fo like just being in a forest, I find it very woodsy. It's, um, yeah, it goes well. So I'll quickly spray this on my arm at the top to give you an idea of what it does. So yeah, it's a really good sprayer. And yeah, there's a very big lemon smell. Lemon's in there, right? Lemon, and yes, I'm getting that orange as well. 
Yeah. Um, I've heard people compare this to Creed Himalaya as well, which, of course, I've never smelled, but that's just for the record. But yeah, you know, it's quite, from the, from the, from the top notes, it's very loud and dries down a lot. The bass then develops into a much more classical fragrance. You've got the musk playing this role, the musk patchouli, a bit of vanilla. The vanilla's not, vanilla's not very prominent, but it can be detected. And it just develops into a good fragrance. Unfortunately, the, this probably lasts maybe four and a half to five hours on my skin before it's kind of not noticeable. And that's unfortunate because it is a great smell. It gives you a very good aura and it does help you kind of feel fresh throughout the day. I find as well it gives you a very soapy scent from like about half an hour into it. You just get a very kind of clean, soapy scent. So I picked this up for cheaply for a 50 ml bottle. I paid £14. Probably not the best purchase because I bought it on Amazon. I'm sure you can find it cheaper elsewhere. Uh, I was looking at it from Grandica and people are saying that the longevity isn't where it used to be. So I'm guessing what I'm experiencing is probably the norm. And yeah, you know, um, I'd probably say it's an all-round fragrance too in terms of um, versatility. Despite the freshness and the citrus notes at the start, I think that this would be well suited any season of the year. You could probably wear it at the night, you know, it's not a day or night fragrance. I'm kind of saying that you could definitely wear it in the evening, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the night time. You know, it's very, very versatile. So I'll probably give this some ratings. So the scent to me is quite unique in the terms of it starts off one way, but then goes completely 180 on itself and kind of goes woodsy. Uh, I think that's, to me, I haven't smelled many fragrances that do that. So... Well, I also find the scent is very captivating too. It's very masculine, quite, um, it's quite an engaging one. You know, you find yourself ca catching whiffs of it throughout the day and you're like, damn, son, <laughs> that's some good smelling. And yeah, I think um, scent, I'll probably give it an eight or a 10. The longevity comes down to probably a six. Nah, I'll give it a five because it's below average, unfortunately. I think that the projection is okay. It's not a beast mode by any, by any means. It starts off quite strongly and I wouldn't probably recommend spraying this and then heading out or kind of starting your day with this. You know, we probably want to give yourself some time to, to let this fragrance develop. And I'll give it a sort of a six for projection, I think. And overall, I'm gonna give this it's a seven and a half out of 10. It's, um, it's a nice scent. I don't see many people giving it praises. I think it's cheap, you know, it's definitely cheap. I'm not sure how many people wear it, if it'll be um, a unique scent to yourself, but I would definitely recommend trying this. I don't think it's worth a blind buy, but give it a try and see how you feel. Alternatively, you know, you can probably get a 30 ml bottle for 10 quid. Probably get a 50 ml bottle for 10 quid too, so you know, you're not losing out too much if you buy that, so could be worth a blind buy, but I wouldn't recommend bl buying blind nowadays. So, so yeah, thanks for watching the review, and let me know of any comments for this fragrance. Have you tried this? What do you think? And thank you once again.